everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Jaquel, the world's worst YouTuber. Today, we're going to do something just a little bit different. On this channel, we have tried out a whole bunch of different things. We went to either.io, the either or game. We've gone on BuzzFeed and done a couple of quizzes. We have tried out the, what is it, the writing bot? What the hell was it called? I forget what it was called. Whatever it was, it was a predictive text AI writing bot where you gave it a prompt and it went with it. And we had a lot of fun doing all of these things. However, today we are doing something we've never done before and checking out an entire website. That website is Space Hay. Now, you might be asking if you aren't already aware, what the hell is Space Hay? Effectively, it is MySpace 2.0, the electric boogaloo. I have spent time all over the internet, however, I wind up getting sucked into a couple of niche groups. One, witchy and spiritual things. Two, alternative scenes. And as we all should know by this point, TikTok has one of the most sophisticated algorithms. So the fact that I have seen this site pop up more than a handful of times definitely is saying something to the nature of who I am as a person. <laughs> now, MySpace is definitely a website that fills the nostalgia of many people. I myself was at the forefront of a lot of the mainstream emo culture that popped up all over the place during the early and mid-2000s. Now, admittedly, if I were to say that I was 100% an emo kid, that wouldn't be 100% correct. I lived the life, but I did not look the part because I told myself, hey, I am too fat to squeeze my ass into some of those skinny jeans. And the fun thing that I have noticed is that as I have gotten older, more comfortable in my own skin, lost a little bit of weight, started transitioning, I now look the most emo that I ever have in my entire life now that I'm almost fucking 30 years old. Yes, Jaquel, coming to you with the most emo band t-shirts ever. Ghost, have you heard of them? <laughs> and the funny thing is, looking back on a particular song called I'm an Emo Kid, Non-conforming as can be, you'd be, non -conform you'd be non conforming too if you were just like me. I wear paint on my nails and makeup on my face. I'm almost emo enough to start dressing in drag. Because dudes like like chicks, our chicks look like dykes. Because emo is one step below transvestite. Hi, I am a trans girl. The point is, in all actuality, I know that my space has a firm place in the emo subculture. And I am doing it to relive my own emo memories, although it may not have fit specifically to what everybody else has come to know as emo. But it was my version, it was my brand. And that's as non-conforming as can be. Now, the reason I'm doing this video is one, the lols, two, the, they sort of like sell it as a direct replica of MySpace. Like it's not just supposed to be a sequel, even though I phrased it for the sake of a joke, it's supposed to be MySpace, just under a different name. So we're gonna check it out. We're going to see what it's all about. We're gonna put our left foot in, we're gonna take our left foot out, we're gonna do the hokey pokey and see what Space Hay is all about. Now, before I stumble all over myself too far and make a mockery of myself like I did in the last time I tried talking about emo stuff, when I was about 60 pounds heavier, I'm gonna go ahead and try to forget that, but if I can find the thumbnail, here it is. You know where to find it. I'm not that person anymore. I regret that this is on here, but for some reason, I keep it up here just to remind myself how far I have come. Before we switch cameras and start actually looking at this website, if you could, please consider supporting the channel. Link to the link tree will be in the description. I'm used to saying this on TikTok. I almost said it wrong. It would genuinely mean a lot to me, and it is one of the ways that I am able to fund some of the videos that I do on here, such as the coffee reviews. The next one coming up is going to be the Jacksepticeye's Top of the Morning Coffee. That's the next one that we're going to find. So, once again, if you could, please consider supporting the channel so I can continue making cool content that I am too broke to fund myself. Let's open the floodgates for nostalgia. Oh my god! It's the fucking same, or in the very least, it's the same enough that my less than perfect memory isn't distinguishing a difference. It's right there. Oh my god. They even have the member login sign up spot in the exact, and it looks, it looks the exact same. Oh my god. Well, um, 
I'm going to go ahead real quick and I'm going to set up my login. Okay, so um, I made my login, but now I need a name. And gosh, I'm not trying to directly recreate the MySpace that I had before. Oh man, but I don't want to like completely recreate the emo edgy aesthetic. I want it to be like if I made a MySpace now. So I'm just going to do, um, th oh, hang on, the Half Orc Supreme. Wait, 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 hang on. X, X, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to fix this, I'm going to fix this. It needs to be just a little, a little bit of that extra spice on it. So X. X, 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 Half Orc Supreme. And now I need to put the underscore over here now. There we go. Because where would we be on my space usernames without unnecessary X's? Save. Hell yes! Oh my god! Alright, so, man, honestly, I don't... Remember how to MySpace. <laughs> so I guess we're just going to start with, um, hang on, view my profile. What's it look like so far? Uh, what does this blank profile look like? All right, cool. And hey, look, I'm online. Now you know. Oh my God, the little block here, the add friends, add to favorites, this little chunk. Right, I didn't know that small details like that were going to bring nostalgia, just seeing it and going, holy crap. Oh, wow. And there's my... Can I... I can edit? Yeah, we'll get into that later. I don't want to... Let's try and go in some semblance of order. Mood. Um, what are you doing right now? Making a YouTube video. And now let's remember how many people that got popular on YouTube actually were popular because of MySpace. Mood! I gotta laugh at myself because I was saying mood about the last thing I said without realizing that I was clicking on mood. How are you feeling right now? Feral. <laughs> <laughs> Ex <laughs> you, a few short words. Exactly the edgy, pretentious, bastard. Gosh, bless it. I hate dyslexia sometimes. Edgy, pretentious, bart hard, bastard. You think I am. Success, making, what are you doing right now? Making a YouTube video, mood, feral. You, exactly the edgy, pretentious bastard you think I am. View your profile, let's see where it g shows up. Making a YouTube video, exactly the edgy, pretentious bastard you think I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. This big block here that says edit your profile, let's just go up there. Oh my god, the big blocks of text to give people either five words, such as RAR, or... <laughs> that's one word. Or... I remember I would try to, like, squeeze it. Hi, Dahlia, by the way, I'm in Headspace now. I remember I would try and squeeze in as much as I could about myself. And I wound up sharing way too much. Okay, so... <clears throat> about me... I am just a... <laughs> I don't even know. Fuck about me. I am... Sad? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I uh, off-camera did... Uh, Decided to take it upon myself to figure out what the hell I wanted to put in some of these. So, about me. I am a DAD system who remembers the glory days of MySpace and wanted to come catch some nostalgia because I have that kind of time on my hands. It is my hope to become the next Hokage of YouTube, or in the very least, to let everybody know that I have a YouTube channel called Just Kel where you can actually learn all about me. 
Self plug for the win. Who I'd like to meet? Jack Septicai, Markiplier, Tom from MySpace, probably a few TikTokers, IDK, my BFF Jill, and also the most important one, Phil Anselmo of Pantera, just to demonstrate a vulgar display of power to his person. <laughs> uh, interests, guitar, music, particularly heavy metal and rock and roll, witchcraft and magic, spirits and spirituality, Star Wars, Dungeons and Dragons, Lord of the Rings, and other generally nerdy crap. Then we come to the music, and honestly... I'm not sure if all of these are going to be 100% like representative of like the music I listen to now. I mean, obviously some of them, but I just want to say that these are the ones that like really bring me back to good feelings and better days and wind up becoming formative for me in some way. So let's take a look. Atreyu, Avenged Sevenfold, Bullet from a Valentine, Slipknot, Ghost, Volby, Kill Switch Engage, My Chemical Romance, Rob Zombie, Black Phil Brides, and I will hear no judgments. <clears throat> Motionless and white. <laughs> attack, attack, even though they are not a band anymore. Uh, Panic at the Disco, but just their first album, as well as a collection of countless songs that I only know a few songs, not the entire album or the artist. Then you know what? I'm probably going to wind up doing the same thing with movies because it's been a hard time for me to find movies that really stand out. I used to be really into movies, but a lot of the movies that I'm going to show are... Um, a lot of the movies that I'm going to write down are going to be movies that are generally um, representative of who I used to be. Let's, um, first ones first. Repo. <laughs> Genetic Opera. That one always is a win. Um, Fight Club. No judgments. Ah! The Dark Crystal. Hi. We are the Dark Crystal system. <laughs> Obviously, that one was formative for us. Let's continue. Um, where was I? Oh, all the Star Wars. Yes. That. <laughs> uh. The Last Jedi as well. And don't come for me, because The Last Jedi is actually my favorite Star Wars movie of all time. The Fist. Alright, I think that is a a uh, generally representative, comprehensive list that is a reflection of who I am. Yep. Yep. That is me. Those movies are me right there, all of them plastered onto my face, into my mind, body, spirit, on a soul level, as well as a cellular level. Those movies made me. Television! One hour later. All right, I know this is a very bad time for me to be saying, let's move on to the next thing, but I swear at this point, most of the time that I've been filming has been spent on filling in these, just because I sort of like saw it as a challenge now. Because MySpace was all about like telling people who you were, or at least helping yourself to construct the mask of what you wanted to present to society. And that's what I got caught up doing. So yeah, let's move on. Let's go back home. Success, view your profile. Let's see, about me, who I'd like to meet. Oh, and then there's the general. General about music. Oh, okay, so this is just, I'm understanding now. I kind of forgot where I started because it took that long. But now we have a really good understanding in this little block of uh, just, you know, general stuff about me. The XXX underscore half underscore orc underscore supreme underscore XXX. Oh, hey, look, the URL is hanging off of the side of the box exactly the way that it should. Hang on. I at least, real quick, before we go off onto the tangent of trying to remember or figure out how to adjust the layouts... We do need a profile picture. We need at least one. And here we go. That's my profile picture. Is it going to fit?
Hell yeah, we got it. Fuck yeah. Okay, so I, I don't know if there's even going to be anything that I can find. But we always got to start with Google somewhere. All right, how to uh, make space pay layout. Okay. Start what? Blog.space, hey, resources to get started pimping out your profile. Frick! Holy frick! I forgot that that was a part of mainstream vernacular. So I'm just going to go back over here. Layouts, space, hey. Um, oh my god! This! Holy shit, the scene core layout? Is that what they're calling it? Subtle background music player, no autoplay. Um, holy crap. <laughs> wow. Jeez, going through these. Okay, hang on, hang on. Um, let's. I saw this and I couldn't scroll away. This is a little on point. The kitty cat with the monster logo on its hip. Oh my god. I just, I forgot that I collected monster tabs on one of those, like, dog tag chains. I actually did. Maybe I was a little bit more emo than I gave myself credit for. <laughs> Gosh. Okay. I'm dialing it back. Okay. So, instead of making this more stressful on myself than I need to be and trying to sit through 28 to 25 minute tutorials on how to do backgrounds, I think all I need to do is find a layout, copy the code, paste it into my About Me section. Let's just space hey layouts. Let's see what's up. Got simple black and white layout, Katie Pink, you fuck it. Let's just do emo and see what happens. Nice Gerard Way close up there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I could do the red and black emo layout. The pink and black one. Draculara slash monster height. Never mind. Don't want to falsely represent. Red and black layout. Mm, cool. Maybe the problem is that I'm not going to find something that really fits me because I am not the same person I was 12 years ago. Okay, you know what? I think I saw one. I'm going to just go ahead. There was one back here that caught my attention. I'm going to choose not the checkered one. Let's just go with this one, okay? Seems nice, easy. We gotta copy. And now we're going to go to the about me. Let's see if this works. Save all. Let's see, view your profile. Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, I feel accomplished. I was so stressed out. I was so freaking stressed out by that for some reason. I have no idea why. Oh, that just made my heart sing. And everything is still here. And it still looks good. It's those are firearms. <laughs> I just realized what exactly was on the background. You know, just for the sake of it, I'm going to go back and try and find a different one because this is cool. I just don't know how the uh, algorithm is going to feel about this. All right. So, um, Raven chose a different one. I don't like it. It makes my eyes hurt. And considering how many times my mother would look at me and say that something made her feel dizzy or that's just too busy, I feel like I have officially become an adult in this regard. I like it. It's definitely very Raven. <laughs> but um, let's try one that Nina chose. Let's go to the edit your profile. Um... Honestly, now that I've actually gotten into the groove of this and trying these things out, it actually is a lot of fun again. Now that I'm a, less, a lot less stressed out about it. All right, so cut. Da, 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 paste. Save. Let's see if this one does the thing. And reveal. What did Nina choose? 
You know, honestly, this makes a lot of sense for Nina. Really, it does. Got the Avril Lavigne, got the corn, got the slightly kawaii stuff going on, but not too kawaii. Alright, so um, here's one that Dahlia casually suggested, uh, but I, I like the effect. The snowfall effect is really cool. I definitely enjoy the font. It is definitely a font that I have also used a hundred times in the past for, like, thumbnails and shit like that but it is all very specifically mcr related oh and there's the fucking guns again oh my god now just to be clear all of my statements about guns have nothing to do with anything political like that's not what that's about it's just i don't give a shit enough about guns for it to be a part of my space hate profile this one I actually picked. Alright! This, this actually feels a lot more like... This feels more like home. Maybe it's because I'm making it for myself and I picked it and that's the whole difference that it's making. We gotta look for firearms. No firearms? Hell yeah! It's just nice, edgy, alt, not inherently emo, but very emo-leaning. We still get everything lined up nicely right here. And the, the, hey, cool, skulls. We got the skull as the mouse clicker cursor. So, yeah, I think this is the one that we're going to settle on. And I think this is the one that's, um, we're going to roll with it. Yeah. In some way, yes, I am trying to recreate some of that MySpace glory. However, as I sort of, sort of said in the beginning of this video, I didn't really have the confidence or the know-how of how to actually pull off any kind of emo look. But uh, since then, things have changed, such as actually understanding a little bit more about makeup. I was the person who was wearing bootcut jeans and DCs more than I was wearing Vans and skinny jeans. And that's not because of any reason other than I told myself I was too fat for it. And, you know, everybody has said sometimes you need to do inner child work, right? Well, I'm doing inner teen work. So I'm going to take my makeup. And I am going to go all out for these Space Hay profile pictures. Let's go. Now that we're here, I realized that I did not plan this far ahead. I just knew I was going to take pictures. Um, so I'm not going to put too much effort into it because if you put too much, effort, too much effort into it, it winds up taking away from the um, ugly, low-quality feel of MySpace. And at least that's the excuse that I'm going to uh, posit here to say I'm running out of time to really uh put forth much effort into this so let's take those pictures real quick and get them uploaded five minutes later okay so here we are back at the space hey page we're going to uh figure out where to go to uh add pictures but where do i add pictures i feel like i'm overlooking it Okay, yeah, unfortunately I seem to have run out of time and I can't figure out a place to upload, like, uh, any pictures. Like, I can find the profile picture. File, add, edit, photo. 
So it looks like I'm only really able to choose one and not several. And there we go. We made a space hay page. And just so you guys are aware, there is a spot down here so you can add all of your other social media links. On that note, once again, please consider supporting the channel so I continue making cool videos like this. If you liked this video, go ahead and actually like it. And if you like some of the other stuff that I have put up here, consider subscribing. Like I'm going to be able to hit a subscribe button here. Thank you for the picture that we put in there. I don't even know right now if it's going to be a big red play button, but hey, it's a picture. Oh, real quick, before I forget, by the time you're seeing this video, every single one of the pictures that I took for the Space Hay profile are going to be on my Instagram if you want to go see those. So go ahead and check them out over there as well. It's going to be just underscore Jekyll. And on that note, take care. Much love, peace out, namaste, and goodbye.